Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I have a fun project featuring the Hero Arts Color Layering Peacock Stamp Set. Now these color layering stamp sets have all of these images that you stamp and layer on top of each other to create really realistic effects. And in addition, Hero Arts has also put together these ink cube packages that coordinate with these stamp sets so that you have great colors. Now, remember, these are just recommended colors, but you could use or try whatever you have on hand. I'm going to try to give you a few pointers and tips for using some of these color layering stamp sets to create cards today and to make it a little bit easier because I know some people struggle with this. So you saw me first start out by color cutting one peacock out of a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock. Now I'm going to cut these peacocks two at a time by layering two pieces of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock on top of each other and I'm going to cut a bunch out because I'm going to be mass producing these peacocks. Now that first one that I cut is actually going to be my placeholder for stamping all of these die cut peacocks. Now because these this particular image has several different images that kind of have to connect together. I recommend die cutting this one first and then doing your stamping on top. And that's why I've created this little like guide here to place my die cut in every single time. Now when you're positioning each of these layers of stamps, I'm going to recommend that you get your head right over that stamp. You want to look down through that stamp to where you can see your die cut and make sure that you're positioning this in the right place. So I'm starting out with the most solid portion of the peacock head, and I'm stamping that in the deep ocean. This is one of my favorite Hero Arts inks. And I did want to mention that I am double stamping each of these layers. With something like the Misty stamping tool, this makes it really super easy to not only layer up these layering stamp sets, but create multiples and double stamp them as well so that you can really build the intensity of that ink. So my next layer on my peacock head was that more detail layer, and I stamped that in the navy. And I am using my magnet to hold these dies in place as I stamp them so that I make sure that they don't move. And then I'm going to start working on the tail of my peacock. And I'm stamping this first layer in the emerald ink. It's beautiful. And I am going to, like I said, stamp each of these die cuts while this stamp is in place. That's going to save me a whole lot of time. Now, if you don't have a Misty tool, you can do this with an acrylic block. I just find that my Misty tool is very helpful in lining these up. So as I move on to the next layer of that tail and I'm stamping this in the deep ocean ink, I did show you there that I am picking points on my stamps that I can easily line up. I call these landmarks. So you find landmarks. For me, it was the eyes of these feathers that I can make sure were aligned perfectly to make sure that all of my layers work together. So make sure you're looking for those landmarks within these color layering step stamp sets. That's really going to help you out. Now, once I had all of my peacocks stamped, I went ahead and stamped a few of these feathers here. And I started with the Hero Arts Antigua ink, and then I'm stamping over them with the Deep Ocean ink, but I'm slightly offsetting it. This builds a variation in the color within these feathers, and it also makes them more full. And then I just took one of the swirls that was in the stamp set, and I stamped it in that lemon yellow to create that kind of really bright, bold, green yellow within the eye of that feather. There's no dies for this feather, so I went ahead and just fussy cut those out. For my card base, I am using some Hero Arts layering paper. I'm, I think this is the first time I've ever used the layering paper, and I really did enjoy it. I love how the inside is white so you can clearly write your message, and I love that the colors coordinate beautifully with the Hero Arts inks. So in order to give this background a little, or this card base, a little bit of texture, I inked up this background stamp. This is the wallpaper pattern background stamp from Hero Arts. I inked it up in some Antigua ink, and then I placed my card base on top of it and covered it with a piece of scratch paper and rubbed all over it to make sure I got good ink transfer. And now you can see that wallpaper pattern really does kind of mimic the feather kind of pattern. I don't know. <laughs> In my head it does, but my head is not always right. So let's just be honest there. <laughs> so let's layer up all of these elements here and create our card. I've gone ahead and taken a piece of vellum. I've cut it into a banner end. I have a piece of black and white pattern paper there that I've placed on the front of my card as well. 
that just for me, it's not the uh, it's not the same black and white pattern paper that I always use, but I love to incorporate that high contrast element in my designs. It just makes my heart happy. So if you get tired of seeing the black and white paper on my cards, I'm sorry. I just feel like I need it, just like with that gold glitter paper that I added there. It's just something I need. You could always substitute it for something else. Now, I'm going to adhere my peacock, and I want it to sit at a different layer than these feathers that I'm fanning out behind it. So I've added a layer of foam adhesive to the back of my peacock. And then I took off the backer and added my feathers. And then I'm going to add a second layer of foam adhesive. So those feathers are sandwiched between the two layers of foam adhesive. That gives those different dimensions so that they're not sitting on the same plane. It just gives a little variation to the card. And if you don't want as much dimension because you're mailing this, you could always cut out a layer of that foam adhesive. Because as you saw there, I did add some foam adhesive behind that gold glitter strip as well. So as I've said before, I like big cards and I cannot lie. <laughs> so I tend to use a lot of foam adhesive on my cards, but you could always nix a layer of that to make it a little bit more flat and a little bit more mailing friendly. So now I have that all adhered onto my card front and I'm gonna finish my sentiment here. Now I thought that this should say, so proud of you and so I'm doing that with my little Dymo label maker here. I'm adding some foam adhesive to the back to make those stand up because like I said, I like big cards and I cannot lie. Okay, I won't wrap the whole song for you. <laughs> So I'm adding those on there. I'm finishing off with a few sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. And then I'm going to add some glitter details to my peacock. So I'm starting with the Spectrum Noir Clear Glitter Brush. I'm going to brush that all over the tail of this peacock. And when you're using the Spectrum Noir sparkle pins, any of them, you want to make sure you shake them up really well to get the, that glitter moving within the pin. And then I'm going to finish this off with some Stickles gold glitter and I'm just adding it in the eyes of those feathers to add a little gold accent. Now what you can do is you can stamp that last layer on top of the feather with a little bit of Versamark ink and add some wow gold embossing powder with the little glitter in it. And you can do that as well. And I did that, but I actually ended up liking the Stickles on top of this better. So you can see here are my finished projects. You can see the one on the right, I stamped the tail with the emerald ink. And then the one on the left, this one here, I stamped the base of that tail with the Antigua Hero Arts ink. And that's just something to show you that you can use different colors. I got that idea from Yana Smakula. She is brilliant. I hope I said her name right. As always, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this project. I will have links to all the featured products in the description at YouTube, but head on over to my blog because I'll have a full list of supplies there as well as more still shots and information. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.